What's going on y'all spot sports talk back at it with another video talking some more NBA and it is about that time talking NBA draft because it is right around the corner just a couple days away so I wanted to get into the draft and basically the biggest name in the draft which is LSU's Ben Simmons and just word got around today that the Sixers after Ben Simmons finally decided to work out for them um have informally formally announced that they're going to take Ben Simmons with the number one overall pick. Um, they didn't officially announce it, but a lot of sources are reporting it. You guys can go check online on Twitter and whatnot. Um, but Ben Simmons is expected to go number one overall to the Philadelphia 76ers. This was not a surprise um, because Ben Simmons was projected number one overall pick. There was some talk about Brandon Ingram being you know, talked about uh, as the first pick, but um, lo and behold, it is going to be Ben Simmons. My thoughts on this, well, I can't fault the Sixers for this because Ben Simmons is the best talent in this draft. Like I said, Brandon Ingram might be, uh, 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 you know, a better athlete, might be a little bit more skilled or, or, or whatnot, but Ben Simmons has the highest potential. He's got the best star potential of any player in this draft. Uh, regardless of all his issues that he had at LSU, and, I, and I'm talking in, in regards to you know him looking nonchalantly, didn't look like he was into it, reluctantly to take three point shots, you know, does he have a, 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 a jump shot, and all these questions. And before I get into all that, just want to state that the Sixers are doing the right thing by just going for the best available player. The problem being, they have Joel Embiid. Was yet to step foot on an NBA court. It was a seven foot center. They got Nerlens Noel and they have Jaleel Okafor. And now you're adding Ben Simmons to that. Yeah, I'm supposed to trust the process, but when you got four bigs and you got two options in the front court, meaning power forward and center, and you're in a shooting lead now, it's kind of hard to trust the process. So um, the Sixers are going to have to do something here. Um, Look, I don't know what Joel Embiid has. Um, we haven't seen anything from him because he's been hurt. Nerlens Noel is a nice defensive stud. Jaleel Okafor is just an offensive player. So the Sixers is going to have to tinker around here. But again, the right move is taking Ben Simmons because you can always trade him or you can always trade the other pieces. So I don't fault the Sixers for that. I just have questions in regards to um, what they plan on doing with their front court. Now back to the questions about Simmons and his issues at LSU or, or his issues as a player. Look, Ben Simmons, I know there's been major questions about his shooting. I just want to let you guys know, LeBron James, Jason Kidd, Blake Griffin, none of these guys coming out of uh, college knew how to shoot. Um, and I'm not comparing Ben Simmons to them per se. I'm just saying these guys didn't know how to shoot. And Blake, for instance, who I think is a good comparison to Ben Simmons and what he can be, to, has developed a jump shot. LeBron, obviously first battle Hall of Famer, he's got a jump shot sort of now as well. Jason Kidd, so these guys got by without having a clean jump shot. And ben Simmons doesn't have to have you know a Steph Curry type jump shot obviously, he just has to have a nice mid-range game. I think he's going to be a stud in this lead regardless of his inability or ability to hit a jump shot just because of his raw talent. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think about the Sixers announcing that they'll take Ben Simmons and what you guys think about Ben Simmons' potential. Are the Sixers making the right move here? I think they are. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.